If you've ever created or worked with a really big project in GarageBand on Mac with multiple software instruments, effects and plugins added, chances are you will have experienced slowdowns, stutters or even full-on crashes. GarageBand for Mac has a built-in feature that can help alleviate some of the pressure on your system when working on or playing back larger projects. In this quick tip, I'll show you how it works. Okay, we're going to use GarageBand's track lock feature to freeze problem tracks in place and reduce pressure on your CPU. This means that when you play back your project, the instrument sounds and any effects or plugins you have applied to lock tracks are not rendered in real time. Instead, they are saved as is to your disc, where GarageBand can read and play them back with much less stress on your machine's CPU. We'll need to access GarageBand's track header options here. Right click or control click on your chosen tracks header and select Configure Track Header. In the menu that pops up, click the checkbox next to the Track Lock option. You'll now see a small lock icon appear in all of your track headers. You can select individual tracks to be locked by clicking the lock icon, or you can click and hold on a track's lock icon and drag down over other tracks you want to lock too. Hit play and you'll see GarageBand go through the process of locking your tracks. Once a track is locked, you can no longer move, edit, delete, or really do anything else with it. You can unlock any track at any time by clicking again on the now green track lock icon. That'll about do it for this quick tip. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com. Bye for now.